Hey there ninjas and welcome to the very first income report for our case study site guinea pig geek now this is the first of a series of videos that i'm going to be bringing out on a monthly basis to basically show you how well the case study site is doing i'm going to share absolutely everything with you we're going to look at what tasks have been done what tasks i'm going to be doing next month and also how well it's performing in the search results I'll then also share with you any income that the site has generated so you can see exactly how successful or not successful the case study site is. So let's get to the laptop and we'll take a look. So here we have a quick presentation that I just wanted to put together. Um, obviously, as we progress with the site and as the months go on, this is going to evolve and get bigger and there'll be a lot more information to share. Um, obviously, the site just being a month old, it is a little bit limited, um, but it is still interesting and in seeing how the site is actually performing. So month one is um, February and in the month of February, we published six posts. Now, six is not too bad. It's probably not as many as I'd have preferred to have posted. Um, I'd have liked to have tried to get around about 10 done, um, but six, not too bad for the first month with me having to you know, create the actual website and do a lot of the research as well. Um, worked out at roughly one and a half posts a week. Um, so yeah, not too bad. Total word count for those six posts that was published is just over 14 and a half thousand um, with an average word count of two and a half thousand. So pretty decent sized articles to be fair. Um, when it comes to actual costings, revenue, profit, obviously very new site. So there's zero revenue there. Um, now, the site's cost me roughly £30 so far, um, hosting £10, domain name roughly £10, and tools £10. So I use um, a couple of tools, so I use Jasper and I also use Canva. Um, obviously, that is split up between a number of the, the websites, um, so therefore I've just divided up the, the cost of Jasper per month. Um, with the amount of websites that there are. Um, so it works out at around about £30 a month. And obviously this is going to be rolling. So um, next month, again, if no revenue is made, then it might end up costing around about £50, 50 pounds spent. So um, you'll be able to see it rolling every month, how much it all adds up to. And hopefully eventually in a few months, we'll start seeing some positives and start seeing some actual revenue. So just wanted to show some keyword data. So at the moment, it's still relatively new, like I've said, um, but it is starting to get content indexed and started to rank his hrefs. And we've got um, eight keywords in the US, six in the UK, two in Australia and two in Canada. Um, obviously, positions are you know, well within page nine and 10. Um, so they are not gonna get any clicks whatsoever. Um, and to be honest, they're probably not gonna be moving up until a good potentially couple of months, three, four months, depending on the the, the sandbox period and stuff um, and how much content is published and the, the difficulty. Um, but it's a start. So it's nice to see that progress in one month. Um, and then here we have in Search Console, so we have 207 impressions. So it's starting to go up from around about the 20th, 21st of February um, with 12 clicks and a click-through rate of 5.8%, which is pretty decent. Um, and then finally, I just wanted to share the things that I'd actually done in February and kind of the plans that I've got for the site in March. So in February, we did the keyword research, we did the content planning and the actual initial site setup. It was all done around about the 29th, 30th of January. So I'm kind of including that into February. Um, we also did a instant indexing through the Rank Math um, plugin on this page, on this site um, with one of the pieces of content. Um, I don't know if that helped it rank quicker or get indexed quicker, um, but it's certainly 
one of the quickest sites I've worked on that's actually been indexed um, without it being on an expired domain. It is a fresh domain. Um, we've done the six blog posts, like I said. We also created the home page, the about page, um, and the contact page. So those kind of things and just set up, obviously, the plugins and whatnot. Um, in March, I'm planning on doing at least eight blog posts, ideally around about 10. But if I can get two done a week, I would be really happy with that. Um, we're then also going to create the social accounts. Now, I'm not going to be working on the social accounts. I just want to get those created um, just to help build up that, um, you know, that authority within the industry. I'm going to build a YouTube channel. Um, I do find that YouTube can work really well. Um, again, building up that brand. And because I am going to get a couple of guinea pigs myself, maybe this month or next month, um, it'll be good to actually be able to create some video content and use that. So that's the, the plan for that. Um, I'm then also going to create a Pinterest account. And I've used Pinterest, Pin, Pinterest. <laughs> I've used Pinterest quite a lot in the past with a food blog, and it's a great way of generating traffic. Now, it's not necessarily traffic that is going to be converted into affiliate sales, um, but because the site is going to have Ezoic set up and display ads, then I'm not too fussed about that. I just kind of want to get that traffic volume onto the site, um, monetize that traffic through um, display ads, and also potentially use it as a way to capture emails as well in the future once we get that set up. Um, so it's all ways of just trying to build different traffic um, streams and then monetize that traffic differently depending on where it's coming from. Um, so a lot of Google will potentially be pushed towards the affiliate stuff, Pinterest potentially more around the display ads, and depending obviously what pins they come from. Um, but again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. I'm mainly going to be just creating a couple of boards and then just setting up some um, automated pinning potentially. Um, yeah, so there are March tasks, obviously a lot to do, um, but still definitely positive with the way that this site's going. So there you have it. Hopefully you have found all of that information useful and interesting. Obviously, the site is still very new at just over a month old, but already content is indexed, it's getting impressions, and we're getting the odd click here and there. So overall, I'm really, really positive. Now, obviously, it is going to take time. I'm not outsourcing anything. The content's been done by myself. Any link building that I will do, I'll do by myself as well just because I really want to show the results that you can get by starting at the very beginning. So I do expect it to be a good couple of months before we even start making any revenue, but hopefully we'll see something soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to see next month's video. And until then, bye for now.